Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're doing really well. So for today's video, I'm actually going to be reviewing the Adidas Originals Neutrals collection. I saw this collection advertised on a few sort of Instagram street style accounts and I thought it all looked amazing. The colours are absolutely beautiful. It comes in these four nude colours. The first one being um, a sort of light brownie beige, then there's quite a blush pink, then there's a dusky pink and then there's a really nice mauvey sort of purple toned brown um, which is my personal favourite, I love this colour. So I actually picked up um, one of each from everything in the collection um, I ended up spending a lot of money. <laughs> this all together cost me, in total it was nearing on £600 but ASOS had a 20% off when you spend over £100 code so I think it all came down to about 400 and something. Some of the things obviously weren't available in my size so I haven't picked up absolutely everything but I have one of each, um, some in multiple colours, some in just one colour so I'm excited to show you um, what it's all like. So the first collection I'm going to talk about is the dark brown, um, more sort of like mauvey collection. So one of the main sort of pieces in the collection is a big oversized um, boyfriend t-shirt. So this is the colour, um, as you can see it sort of has where the like classic adidas stripes are, they're actually slightly glittery. Hopefully you can see that in the reflection of the light. Um, I'm not 100% sure how I feel about this. I feel like this collection is really quite nice and basic and obviously it's all neutral so I think maybe adding the glitter in wasn't the best idea because I'm pretty sure all the sort of Adidas logos and the stripes have the like glittery effect which isn't my favourite, I don't love it, um, I don't think it's a major deal breaker but for me I think I would have preferred it to just be the same colour or maybe like white or something. So for reference I picked mine up in a size 10. And this t-shirt costs £27.95. The fabric is actually this really, really nice soft material. Um, obviously, this is slightly expensive for a t-shirt, but um, I feel like the price really makes up for it with the really nice materials they've used. So the next piece in the collection is actually these little brown shorts. Um, I love these. They again have the glittery details on the side. They have the little Adidas logo at the front. What I love about these is the material. So they've got this super nice thick waistband which is really figure hugging and um, really brings you in at the waist. I love that it has these little pockets um, and there's also one on the back which is really handy. And yeah it's just a really nice flowy material. Um, really nice to wear in summer. Not too hot. And I am just obsessed with this colour, like it is so nice. So the shorts were £27.95 and I got mine in a size 12 for reference. I also managed to pick up the same shorts in this lovely dusky pink colour. These ones actually aren't as obvious with the glittery sides because I think the colour is a bit more pale so the glitter doesn't stand out as much. Maybe on the Adidas logo. <coughs> But yeah, I love this colour as well. These are so nice, so summery. Again, have the little back pocket, which is really handy. And again, I got these in a size 12. So the next piece is actually this really cute little spaghetti strap, sort of bandeau crop top. This is the dark brown colour. I love how it has the sort of contrasting light pink um, Adidas logo. And then um, it still has like the dark Adidas stripes, which is nice. This is really nice and fitting, it's like a ribbed material and yeah I think this would look so cute with like the matching shorts um, or even just with denim shorts in the summer would be really nice. So this little top costs £22.95 and I got mine in a size 12. So I also managed to pick the top up in this um, really nice sort of dark pink shade. I really like this one, it's really nice. And I also picked it up in the dusky pink colour too. So the final piece from the mauve collection, um, I keep saying mauve, it's the dark brown one, but in real life it's a lot more purple than brown. I picked up the little bodysuit, so I actually love this, like this could be styled with so many things, mom jeans, shorts, um, and I know it would look so good. So yeah, it's got these little spaghetti straps, it's nice and high at the back, like it doesn't drop too low. And then it has the adidas stripes down the side, um, but no popper button. So be aware if you're going to buy this and uh, 
I don't know, I guess you could wear this on a night out. Um, obviously poppers are quite a lifesaver on a night out because you don't have to take the whole thing off. But if you're going to need to use the toilet in this, um, the whole thing is going to have to go, unfortunately. Um, that would personally put me off buying this because... I find that really frustrating and I feel like poppers are just such a simple solution to that. But either way, it's really, really lovely. I love the colour so much. So this body costs £32.95 and I got mine in a size 12. I also managed to pick the body up in the dusky pink. So that is how this one looks. And also in the light brown. I actually love this one. So moving on, um, the next thing I picked up was the little cycle shorts. So these are how they look. These are the pink ones. So it has this really thick, chunky waistband, which just has the logo there. It has the three stripes down the side. Um, I'm not going to lie, these looked better on the picture. Like, looking at them now, they look a bit foggy. They've also got a very long body. I don't know if you can see that. And then the legs are very short. Um... So I guess they're meant to be super high-waisted, but yeah, I'm not 100% sure on these. So I also got them in the light brown colour, which um, I personally prefer to the pink pair. So these shorts cost £32.95 and I got mine in a size 12. So the next thing I want to talk about is the joggers. Um, absolutely love the joggers. Sadly, a lot of them are out of stock, so I actually had to pick up a pair in a size bigger or maybe two sizes bigger than I would usually go, depending on the fit. Um, so sadly I don't think these are going to fit me but I absolutely love the colour, I think they look so nice. So I only managed to pick them up in the light brown colour, um, I think these look so nice. They've again got a really thick waistband, I think I've definitely followed the thick waistband theme in this collection. Um, it's just got little drawstrings, two, ooh, two little zip pockets either side which is nice. And then uh, the stripes just go all the way to the bottom and then they have a cuffed cuff bottom which feels really wide if you're like me and you have really small ankles um I have a feeling these are going to be quite baggy on you but yeah I really like the style of these I love the colour I feel like these could look so nice with like a plain little white top some white air force I think that would be such a nice outfit so these joggers cost £49.95 that is major expensive for some joggers I did pick them up in a size 14 but like I said I would probably usually get a 10 or a 12 in joggers like this so the next item I picked up is actually the cropped hoodie. So this is the light brown one. Um, it's got a really nice hood. The stripes just go down the arms. It's got little drawstrings. And yeah, it's just slightly cropped. So on me, it's not actually that cropped on me. I am only just like five foot three. So um, if you're slightly taller, it's probably going to have a more cropped look. Uh, or if you buy a smaller size. I think this is okay. I don't love cropped hoodies. They kind of remind me of like new look kids. Does that make sense? Like, I don't know. It's not really my vibe. <laughs> so this hoodie actually costs £44.95 and I got mine in a size 12. And I also managed to pick it up in the darker pink colour too. So I just realised I did actually pick um, the boyfriend t-shirt up in the dark pink too. So the next thing I picked up in the collection is actually a big oversized sweater. Um, I only managed to pick it up in the pink one, which I'm slightly upset about because it is probably my least favourite sort of colour theme in the collection. Um, I'd have much preferred it in either of the browns, probably. Um, it's still really nice, just a bit more out there than the browns, I guess. It is absolutely huge, I have to say, like... You could probably wear this as a dress, um, but I think that's quite nice, like you have so many different things you can pair this collection with, so obviously you've got the cycling shorts, um, the little fabric shorts as well. So this jumper costs £49.95 and I got mine in a size 10. So the final thing in the collection is actually this little crop t-shirt, which I only managed to get in the brown colour. It has these little turn up details on the sleeve, which I quite like. I think that adds a little extra. Again, the same as the crop jumper. Crop things like this do kind of remind me of kids clothes. Um, it might look really nice. I might like it, but yeah, I'm not 100% sure. So this is actually the cheapest thing in the collection, only being £22.95. And I picked this one up in a size 12. Right, so moving on to the next section of this video, I'm actually going to try everything on in their colour collection, show you how you can wear everything, um, see how all the fits are, so let's move on to that. Right, so this is the first outfit I've put together. This is the light brown collection, this is the cropped hoodie and 
the cycling shorts so i'm not gonna lie the hoodie is actually a lot better than i thought i think for some reason i kind of imagined it being super cropped um but it's actually quite a nice length i do actually really like this um the cycling shorts are maybe a little bit on the big side um i think i went for a 12 which would be my normal sort of size so maybe size down if you were looking to purchase these so these are how the cycling shorts are looking um this is an okay outfit i think it's kind of weird how the shorts seem more purple than the hoodie like the color doesn't seem exact and obviously these are meant to match so that's a little bit odd but yeah so this is the crop t-shirt um it's not majorly cropped quite cropped i still probably wouldn't wear this myself um but yeah it's actually a really nice fit um if it's really well um the jogging bottoms on the other side they are big um obviously i had to get a size bigger than i usually would because mine were all out of stock um but i would probably even suggest sizing down because sometimes i can get away with 14 bottoms but these are just baggy i really like the little zip pocket detail i think that's really nice um love the color just a shame that they're too big they're also really really long oh so this is the light brown bodysuit um it's actually a really nice fit excuse that you can kind of see my bra but yeah i really actually do like this it's maybe a bit short like i can definitely feel it pulling a little bit um it could probably do with being a little bit longer and again i am very short so if you were really tall this might be a little bit uncomfortable um and i actually ended up pairing it with the darker brown shorts so as you can see these do actually match quite nicely together um which is another nice thing about the collection because all the colors sort of complement each other you don't have to worry too much about what you buy or what you can buy because they do all go quite nicely together really so this is actually the dark brown bodysuit i really like this color i think it's really really nice which i have again paired with the um dark brown shorts too so this is the oversized um boyfriend t-shirt in the dark brown i do like this it is super oversized um really long and uh, nice long sleeves i do like it it's maybe a bit sporty for me i don't know i do like it um it maybe look cute even like tucked into your bra so it's not so long like that maybe and again start it with the same uh dark brown shorts so this is the little strappy dark brown top um i like this i think mm, i'm a bit in the middle about it i do think it's cute but i don't know if it's really me and again styled with the same shorts <laughs> i really like these shorts to be fair i think i will definitely be keeping these i think they're so cute so this is the big pink oversized sweater um it is really big probably bigger than i would probably want it um and then i've just paired it with the pink cycling shorts it looks okay a bit barbie-ish but yeah i don't hate it I actually kind of like the jumper maybe the shorts are putting me off a little bit but yeah this is how that one looks so this is the pink cropped hoodie um don't like if i'm honest uh i think this whole color scheme just isn't really me i think they could have definitely used a more neutral pink i know they obviously have the dusky pink one but i think this is just kind of out of touch with the rest of the collection i don't know um it has a nice fit it is cute but i think this is maybe suited to younger people <laughs> so this is the pink oversized t-shirt like i said i'm just really not feeling this color like when i put it on i don't think oh that looks nice i think it just looks a bit i don't know let me know if you like it because maybe i'm just being picky but i think it's a little bit too much maybe so this is actually the first piece that i've noticed it is a little bit itchy like where the glittery sort of sides are it's kind of itching so this is how the little dusky pink tops are looking um kind of cute this would be quite a nice little festival top to be honest 
So I think after trying everything on, I'm actually really loving this dusky pink colour. I think it's definitely the most neutral of the collection, um, which I think is why I really like it. So this is how it's looking with the little shorts. I actually love these little shorts. They are so cute. Yeah, I really like this outfit as a whole. I think it looks really nice. So this is the final piece. This is just the little strappy pink top. Um, I actually think this is so cute. I much prefer it in this colour. Right, so I'm just editing this video and turns out I never clearly press record when I film the outro, so that's really annoying. Um, but anyway, yeah, thank you so much for watching my little review of the Adidas Originals Neutrals collection. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped if you were maybe looking to buy a few bits from the collection. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, please like and comment as well, it really helps. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. <music>